Hello class, today we're going to talk about slope again, but this time we're going to do it for the fourth way. Slope from two points. So let's begin. So if you remember from yesterday's lesson, we found out that there were four different ways of finding slope and in y-intercept. Okay, so you could find slope from an equation, from a graph, from a t-chart, and then what we're going to talk about today from two points that lie on a line. So let's just kind of review how we do that. Okay, so first off, from a graph. We do rise over run. Okay, so we look at the points that are given and we do rise over run. Now, sometimes this rise could be fall. Because if you remember from a graph, as you read it from left to right, if it's going uphill, then it's a rise. And that means that the slope is positive. If it's going downhill, then that means it's a fall. And that means it's going to be a negative slope. Okay, so from a graph, we do rise over run. Okay, well, what about from a T-chart? From a t-chart, we do delta y divided by delta x, or the change on the right-hand side divided by the change on the left-hand side. Okay? And then from an equation. From an equation, it basically tells us pretty easily what it is. In this one right here, the slope is going to be that number that's in front of our x. Okay, That's our m value. And then the y-intercept is going to be the number that's by itself. Okay, the the one that is not attached to the letter. That's our y-intercept. So when we look at our formula of y is equal to mx plus b, this 5 is that b value. Okay, and that's what we're talking about in that particular one. Okay. Now the one that we're going to talk about today is from a formula, okay, or from when, when you're given two points. And that formula is going to be y1, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So that's what we're going to practice in that formula today. So when I ask you the question, well, what if I only give you two points on the graph, how would you find the slope? Well, the way we would do that is through our formula, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So let's see if we can practice that. Okay, so we're going to want to find the slope of the line that passes through the pair of points. So what we have a line that's going to go through these two points. So in order for us to calculate the slope of that, what we're going to end up doing is using our formula. Now, if you remember in class, what I asked you to do is you label one point one, you label the other point number two. And what that means is that in the first point, this becomes our x1 and this becomes our y1. Okay, in the second point, this becomes our x2, and this becomes our y2. So when we're plugging into our formula, it makes it a little bit easier to, to do. So we've got our formula that's m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Okay, So now all we have to do is plug in those points. And if you've already identified the points, or the numbers within the points, as x1, y1, x2, y2, it becomes very easy to plug them, plug them in. So in this one right here, we've got a y2 of 4, and we've got a y1 of negative 2, and it's always minus, so we need to remember that. Divided by x2, which is 1, minus 0, which is the other one. Okay. So now we just do our math. Now the first thing I'm going to do in, this, in the y's is I'm going to change my minus to a plus and x to its opposite. So that gives me a 4 plus 2, which gives me 6, and then 1 minus 0 gives me one. So that means that we have a slope of six. Now, what if I asked you also to find the entire equation? In other words, the y is equal to mx plus b. Well, how do I find that b? Well, if you remember in class, this was the part that we had a lot of difficulty with. So let's just go through this one more time. What we're going to do is we're going to take this six here and we're going to plug it into the y to the m value, the slope. And for this x and y, what we're going to do is we're going to choose one of these points. Now the one I'm going to choose is I'm going to choose the 0 and negative 2 because I know the 0 makes things very easy to deal with. Okay, so I'm going to take my y value, whatever my y value is, the negative 2, and I'm going to plug it into the y spot. So negative 2 equals, well, I'm going to take my 6 and plug it into the m value, 6 times, now whatever the x value is, well in this case it's 0, plus b. And our job is to figure out what b is. So if we do our math here, we end up with negative 2 is equal to 6 times 0, which is 0, plus b. Okay. Well, what I'm looking for is what number do I stick here in order to get negative 2 as an answer? So 0 plus what would give me negative 2? Well, that tells us that our b is going to be negative 2. Now, you could also solve for b. 
where we have a plus zero, we do a minus zero, and then we subtract zero from this side. So minus zero, minus zero. Well, if you subtract nothing, you end up with B equaling negative two. So that would then tell me that Y is equal to six X, because six is our slope, plus B again is our negative two. And that gives us our entire equation for the line that's gonna pass through these two points. So let's see if we can do that one again. So in this particular one right here, what I want us to do is not only find the slope of the line that passes through this pair of points, but also find the y-intercept so that we can write the equation. So again, we've got, we're going to label the points. This is point number one. This is point number two. I'm going to label this one x1 and this y1, this x2 and this y2. And now we plug into our formula. Okay, and we know our formula is m equals y2, negative 12, minus y1, negative 6, divided by x2, which is 8, minus x1, which is 5. Okay, now we do our math. So I'm going to change my minus to plus next to its opposite. So my top number, I'm going to get a negative 6. My bottom number, 8 minus 5, gives me 3. So that's going to give me a slope of negative 6 divided by 3 gives me negative two for my slope value. Okay, so now I need to pick one of these two points. Now, neither one are, are very good, so I'm going to pick the one that's got the smaller of the two numbers, the five and the negative six, and I'm going to plug into my formula. Y is equal to mx plus b to find my slope. So I'm going to take my y value of negative six, plug it in. I'm going to take my negative two and plug it into my m value times, and we'll take my x, which is five, and plug it in and then plus b. Now I do my math. So negative 6 is equal to, now negative 2 times positive 5 gives me negative 10 plus b. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for b. So here I've got a negative 10, so I need to add 10 to this side. And if I add 10 to one side, I've got to add 10 to the other side. And I end up with negative 6 plus positive 10, which is 4, equals b, because my 10s go away. So that gives me the equation then of y is equal to, well, my slope was negative 2, so negative 2x plus, and my y-intercept is 4. Okay, so what that tells me then is, is that the slope of the line that passes through these two points is negative 2, and the y-intercept is going to be 4, so the equation of the line that would pass through these two points is y is equal to negative 2x plus 4. Now, in the questions I'm going to have you do today, it's just going to be finding the slope. Okay, so what I'd like for you to do is, just like we've been doing, is I need you to go to the following link or the link in Classroom to answer the questions. And you can either type this link in or you can go to Classroom and click on the link and it will bring up two questions. Question number one is, what is the slope of the line that passes through the points 1, negative 3 and 4, 3? And then... What is the slope of the line that passes through the points negative 5, 8 and 11, 16? So until the next lesson, talk to you later.